Okay, so we've got our um, IK controls, we've added the deformation bones, and we've added the FK controls, and uh, we've also uh, added constraints to the um, deformation bones, which constrain those bones to both the IK and the FK hierarchies. We've also made the control bone here, which will uh, allow us to blend between the two constraints, and we'll do that by uh, um, driving the influence on the second constraint uh, between 0 and 1 uh, using this control bone. So um, how do you apply uh, a driver in Blender 2.5? Well, you come to the thing that you want to drive, which in this case is the influence on this second constraint here, and um, uh, you right click on that, and then you choose from the list Add Driver, and there it turns purple. You can see that you can no longer edit it in the um, uh, interface here, so uh, we'll link it up to the drive to the uh, driving bone uh, in just a moment. I'll add the uh, drivers to uh, the influences on the other bones now, just by right-clicking on the influence and choosing Add Driver. Then for the tarsal, right-click, choose Add Driver, and the toe again, and they all turn purple as I go. Okay, so we've added the drivers to these influences, but we haven't uh, linked it up to this bone yet. Uh, and uh, we'll do that by going to the um, animation view. So you click on here and then choose the animation screen layout. And uh, here we have the F curve editor, but we need to put it into uh, driver mode so it will display the drivers that we have just made. So we come to this box here, click on it and choose drivers. Now you can see the four drivers. I'll click on the first one, and then we can close uh, these, um, these tabs here, just the top two until we get down to the uh, drivers tab. Now if you don't see this um, uh, properties box here you need to press N to bring that up like I just did. Um, so let's take a look at this uh, drivers tab. You can see that the type by default is scripted expression. Actually we don't want that. So we'll click on this and choose average value. That's the type of driver that we need. Uh, currently there's no uh, target so we need to add a target. Um, uh, then we come down to the value here, we need to tell Blender that we're going to use um, uh, an object and that the specific object we want is called armature. Uh, now it asks for this RNA path from object to property used. Now what that means is the path from the armature uh, down to uh, this bone here. You'll see that this just updated, um, uh, but this will get fixed in a moment when we've finished setting up this driver. Uh, so we need the path to this object. Uh, we find that Ah. Specifically, remember, we want to use the uh, Y axis. Uh, I need to change the orientation uh, for the gizmo here, um, just to make it clear uh, which axis we need. So we need the normal orientation, and then we can see that it's the um, uh, Y axis, which is uh, the up and down axis. Uh, to find the path to this um, value, uh, we need to press N. And then you can see, um, uh, with that bone selected, uh, we want the Y location. So we come down here to the transform and the Y location section. And we right click on it. And uh, from this list, we choose copy data path. Uh, now that's copied the data path to the clipboard. I'll just hide this um, panel again. And uh, we can come here. And uh, it's given us an error because currently there's no path here. But because it's in the clipboard now, we can just uh, place our cursor over the path box here and uh, press Control V, and uh, that places the pose dot bones, and then the name of the bone that we're using to drive it, and then dot location. So that's saying the location of this IKFK bone here. And then I'll just update dependencies. And that got rid of that error for us. Um, now I believe this next step has been made simpler in development builds after the. Uh, Blender 2.5 Alpha Zero release, so uh, in the future this might be a little bit easier, um, but uh, I'll explain it as it is in the Alpha Zero build. Uh, this index value here refers to the X, Y, and Z uh, components of the um, of this bone's location. Uh, now we want the Y, um, the Y coordinate, and that's um, X refer uh, zero refers to X, and one refers to Y. So we need the uh, index 1, and now that's referring to the Y uh, coordinate of the location of this IKFK bone. I believe that um, uh, in it's been simplified 
uh, in future releases so that um, uh, when you copy the um, data path it includes the uh, the correct index within that so that'll all be set up automatically so now we can uh, give our driver its first test and uh, uh, it won't work perfectly at the moment so there's a clue I'll press G and then you can see that as I drag up and down um, the driving bone is moving uh, but the um, bone that it's driving is only moving a tiny bit and that's because the driving bone is only moving 0.1 remember we set the maximum uh, value for this to be 0.1 but we want the influence to range from 0 to 1 not 0.1 uh, so basically we need to multiply the uh, driving curve here by 10 the driving curve is being uh, generated uh, by uh, an F curve modifier uh, which is a generator and um, has a fancy name but that's not too important it's basically just generating a straight line here if I scale this down a bit pressing control and the middle mouse button um, you can see it a bit better um, so if we need to multiply this by 10 uh, we do that simply by uh, going to this multiplication box here and uh, typing in 10 simple now you, can, you might have noticed that that red line became very much steeper. Um, that's the first uh, driver that we're working on, and you can see it's much steeper now than the other drivers. So now, when we move this driving box, uh, this driving bone between 0 and 0.1, the value that it provides to the influence ranges between 0 and 1. Uh, so we'll test that out now. Uh, I'll just grab it, and then, yep, you can see that the uh, thigh bone now blends between the IK bone and entirely up uh, over to the FK bone so that's great. Now I'll um, uh, repeat that process one more time for the shin bone uh, because it probably was a little bit difficult. Um, I know I found it difficult when I first started doing it um, so what you do is you select the next one and um, then uh, you choose the type which we want uh, we wanted average value we add a target uh, value we need to tell it that it's tell blender that we're using an object and uh, that the name of the object is armature and then because we still have that data path um, copied on the clipboard we can just press control v here uh, to paste that same data path in but i'll show you how to get it again remember you go to the uh, view with the bone you want to use as the driver selected and press n and you can see the uh, transforms here and we want the y one so we'll click on it and choose copy data path we can hide that again by pressing n and then come to the path box place the cursor over the box press ctrl v and you can see um the um python expression that's used to reference that bone has been placed in there remember we wanted the y coordinate which um is referenced by the index of one because it starts counting zero equal to x y equal to one and then two equal to z yeah so basically we need to increase this to one and then remember we need to multiply this by 10 and uh, we'll scroll up to the top and click on update dependency sometimes that's important um, so then we'll test it and you can see that the um, the shin bone also blends between the ik and the fk bones so that's great uh, I'll pause now and go ahead and set up the next two constraint, uh, the next two drivers um, off screen. Okay, I've finished setting up the rest of the drivers, and if I grab this control, you can see that all of the bones now blend between the IK bones and the FK bones. So these deformation uh, bones are set up nicely now. Uh, I'll just go back to the um, default view, and um, we'll go into the edit mode by pressing tab to reposition these bones properly underneath the hip. I'll just box select them with B and then G to grab and oop, I think I need to be zoomed in a bit more. Oh, I also needed to press 3 to get a proper orthographic view. And I press G. Um, proving more difficult than I was expecting. G to grab. Yep. Okay, there you go. Now I'll tab out again. And there it is. Ah, okay, FK, set up, set up perfectly.
Thanks for watching and happy blending.